Hi everyone. Tonight we're going to uh, continue on with our Child of God series. Tonight's message is entitled The Child of God and Prayer. Now Luke 18.1 says men ought always to pray and not to faint. Christians not only have the privilege of praying to the Almighty God who is their Father, but they are commanded to pray to Him. God's children prosper spiritually just in the degree they obey this most important command. So many problems and schisms of the body of Christ could be solved today if God's people would give themselves to prayer. How many defeated Christians there are because of the neglect of prayer? He that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is the rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Hebrews 11.6 The eyes of the Lord are over the righteous, and his ears are open unto their prayers. 1 Peter 3.12 Is it not wonderful, is it not wonderful and amazing to think that a way has been provided whereby creatures here on this earth can really communicate with the Creator, who is all-powerful and all-wise, with the great God, who is a loving and compassionate Father of redeemed sinners, sensitive to all of their needs. The ears of the reigning God, who is willing, faithful, and able, who has never yet made one mistake, are open unto the praises and petitions of his children. Pray to the Father, pray to thy Father which is in secret, and thy Father which seeth in secret shall reward thee openly. Matthew 6 6. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. James 5 16. We know not what we should pray for as we ought, but the Spirit himself maketh intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. Romans 8 26. It is recorded of the Lord Jesus, the Son of God, that he went up into the mountain to pray, and that he continued all night in prayer to God. Luke 9, 28, Mark 6, 46, and Luke 6, 12. Therefore, if the Holy Son of God prayed as he did, well, how about us? Men ought always to pray and not to faint. The members of the early church gave themselves continually to prayer. Acts 6, 4. Christians are told to pray without ceasing. 1 Thessalonians 5, 7. Pray always. Colossians 1, 3 and Ephesians 6, 18. Continuing instant in prayer. Romans 12, 12. Give yourself to prayer and fasting. 1 Corinthians 7, 5. Pray lest ye enter into temptation. Luke 22, 46. Pray for one another. James 5, 16. Be ye therefore sober and watch unto prayer. 1 Peter 4, 7, in everything, by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. Philippians 4, 6, night and day praying. 1 Thessalonians 3, 10, evening and morning and at noon will I pray. Psalm 55, 17, supplications, prayers, intercessions, and giving of thanks be made for all men. 1 Timothy 2, 1. The prayer of the upright is his delight. Proverbs 15, 8. What is the Almighty that we should serve him? And what profit should we have if we pray to him? Job 21, 15. All things whatsoever you shall ask in prayer, believing you shall receive. Matthew 21, 22. That your prayers be not hindered. 1 Peter 3, 7. Ye ask and receive not, because ye ask amiss that you may consume it upon your lusts, James 4, 3. If I regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear me, Psalm 66, 18. When you stand praying, forgive. If you have aught against any that your Father also, which is in heaven, may forgive you your trespasses, Mark eleven twenty five. Whatsoever we ask, we receive of him, because we keep his commandments and do those things that are pleasing in his sight, 1 John three twenty two. And this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. 1 John 5, 14. If ye abide in me, and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. John fifteen seven. Verily, verily, I say unto you, 
Whatsoever you shall ask the Father in my name, he will give it you. John 16, 23. And then take a look at John 14, 13. Now, when Stephen was dying, he said, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit in Acts 7, 59. But on the authority of the Lord Jesus, prayer should always be directed to the Father in the name of the Son. May God help us to always be faithful in prayer. Now, I'm going to post a few, well, not a few, but several examples of answered prayer from the Old Testament scriptures. Now, may God hear us, uh, help us to hear afresh the words of the Lord Jesus Christ as we look all about at the abounding sin and powerless congregations torn apart by demonic influence. Remember this, this kind goeth not out but by prayer and fasting. Matthew 17, 21 and Matthew 9, 29. So there you have it. Please spread this message to everyone you know far and wide because the time is short. A grace be to you and peace from God, our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Bye-bye for now.